it's Cheryl at the Made on Sunday studio. We talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if those are topics of interest to you, then remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get more videos from me. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create and send a digital contract so that both you and your signee can receive and sign the document all completely digitally, legally, and free. Now I know there are a lot of paid options out there like CRM programs that will help you do it all automatically, but it's quite expensive and they're usually a subscription service that includes all these other suite of services as well. But let's just say you're just starting out your business or if you are only sending out a couple of contracts a month, then I have a couple of free options for you that you can do yourself. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, so first off, contracts, right? Super important, but super scary topic, especially when you are first starting out in entrepreneurship or you know any kind of business where you need to work with other people with a contract. Now, I know what you're trying to do, you're probably Googling around on YouTube, on, I don't know, whichever search engine you use, on some sort of template or just like instructions on how to create a contract. Um, now, I can't say that I didn't do that as well a couple of years ago when I started my business because, you know, where do you even start, right? But that self-written version that I created for the beginning of my business gave me so many sleepless nights, worried whether it was actually legal binding, if it included things that actually helped me uh, and protected me for my business as well as for my clients. Like I had no idea if it was actually working at all. So as I was booking more clients, the more worried I would get sending out these contracts out. And that's not a way to run your business because you wanna be excited every time you sign a new client, right? So now I actually use a legally binding attorney drafted contract template from the contract shop. It was super easy after I purchased it. I actually purchased one that was specifically written for graphic designers. And I know they have different templates for you know consultants, for I think they have one for photographers and for coaches and for course creators um, and tons of different other more generic ones for just service providers in general as well. So it was super easy. I just picked the one that was for me um, and then it took me maybe half an hour to an hour the first time to make sure that everything is adapted for my business. Um, it was really easy. Like they told you like change this part if your business is this or that and then I would just pick this or that. Um, and then, yeah, every time I send out a contract now, um, I just basically take five minutes to make sure that, you know, the, the price of the project or the timelines of the project are all adapted to that specific project that I'm working on or for that client. Um, and then I send it out. So just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. I honestly just love the template that I'm using. I do have an affiliate link. If you want to use my affiliate link, I will provide that link here as well as in the description below. So if you're interested in getting a legally binding and attorney drafted contract template um, from the contract shop, I highly recommend it to just even check them out. Um, trust me, you will sleep better, you will be more confident, you will feel more professional in your business knowing that your contract is actually protecting you and your business. So anyways, again, not sponsored, but that's just the first step in creating a digitally signable contract. Okay, so now let's say you bought your contract template, you have it open now, and I use, um, you can use like Word, um, but I use Google Docs. So I have it open on my Google Docs. I've adapted everything to my business. I send, you know, export PDF, and now we need to make those form fields where it says, you know, 
your name, your client's name, the date, it's signed as well as the signature area, right? And maybe you have a couple of spots where they have to fill out their email address or their address or their phone number, where whatever information that you need from your client, you need to make all those fields fillable and then at the end signable and then have it digitally automatically sent to you, sent back to you um, after they sign it. So let's get into my laptop and I'll show you how to get that done. All right, so you have your document and we're going to export this um, into a PDF. So I'm just gonna go to download and PDF download and we wanna make sure that your uh, client is not gonna be able to edit the document, so it needs to be in a PDF format. So we have, um, I'm just gonna download this onto my desktop because um, then I can open it on PDF Reader. All right, so there's two options for creating free um, electronic signatures. Um, the first way is using, using PDF Reader by Adobe Acrobat Reader. It's free, so I'm gonna put the links of this below um, in the description below um, to download it. So all you have to do is download um, PDF Reader and yeah, you just need the free one. So um, this one right here is what you need. Um, what we're trying to do is sign, track, and send. And as you can see here, um, the paid version, you can definitely do it, but on the free version, which is what we're downloading right now, there's limited usage. So the limited usage allows you to do two contracts for free, which might be enough for a lot of people. So let's open up PDF reader. Okay, so uh, I have my PDF document opened up here on Adobe PDF Reader. Um, and if you need to, um, like let's say client name, client address, let's say you want to type that in yourself, uh, you can do that as well. So go to this little symbol here, which lets you sign the document. It'll actually change the document into fill and sign area. So you can go ahead and maybe this part makes more sense to type your name, so Cheryl Chen, and then you can type, you can even like, sorry, right here, you can move it. Um, you can type your address name, uh, email address, phone number, whatever it might be that, you're, that you need to pre-fill out before the signature. Let's say these are um, uh, kind of fields that you want your client or your signee to sign, then you just leave those blank for now. Just focus on what you need to fill out yourself first. All right, so just get those all filled out. And then the first thing, like my contract looks like this. Um, and at the very end, I need to do my signature as well. So I'm gonna type my name here. I can even type um, the date, which is February 9th, 2022. Um, and then you can sign it yourself. So you can click on sign here. You can either use like, there's a couple of ways to add a signature. So you can either like type your name out, you can draw your name out, you can upload an image of your signature, but I just use like the typed version because it doesn't really matter to me. So I just click on it and then I drag it into my signature area and there we go. You have one signature down. Now you need to send this document. Let's say everything is filled out, your name, everything that you need to fill out is filled out on this contract. Now you need to send this or tell the PDF uh, document which areas need to be signed by your client. So you're gonna click on next, save, um, request signature, and then get started. So you can see up here that there's two left. So for every 30 days, you get two documents to do this. So what you have to do is uh, put your signers, sorry, is this name? No, email address. So I'm just gonna put my email address for now. And then you can write a little message. Hi there, please review the contract and sign. Thank you so much, whatever, and then specify where to sign. Oops, 
<laughs> I'm signed into my account. Okay, I'm gonna use my um, my Gmail account. All right. There we go. And then it's just going to uh, process the document. And now it brings me to a space where I can add fields. So I can either um, add a couple different things here. Most likely you're just gonna add text. So let's say you want your client to put text here, which is their name. You want them to put text here, which is their address. So maybe put a bigger block here so that they, they have more space. Um, their email, also text, so they can you can just add text boxes for them. Uh, and then they can type in whatever they need to type there and they will get a prompt on their side that this section needs to be typed uh, or filled out before they can submit the, the contract. So that's all good. Now let's go to the end of the contract where we have the signatures, right? So again, we have the client's name and then we have signature. So right here in the signature field, you can actually select signature and they will get the same prompts that you saw earlier. So they can either like upload their signature, they can either type their signature or draw their signature, tons of different options. It's very easy for them. And then you can just put um, uh, another text input for date signed and then you're done. And then you can go ahead and send the document and it will email to the email that you specified. Um, I'm not gonna uh, click on this because I'll be sending it to myself, but basically you click on send once this is all filled out and it will automatically email this um, fillable document to your client. They will be prompted to sign all of these things and then they'll click done or like send um, and then that uh, contract will actually automatically send back to you to your email address so it's super convenient and free so i hope that was um one of the great options that you can use that's legal legally binding and free all right, so your second free option uh, to create electronically signed documents or contracts is with HelloSign. I love them. I've been using them ever since I started my business. Um, you can get an account for free. So I'm gonna provide the link below in the description. You can sign up for free. It says try 30 days for free, but you can actually just continuously use it for free. Um, yeah, so just like get an account and then uh, and then you can just stay on the free account. So the free account allows you to do three signed documents every 30 days. Um, so yeah, if you don't need more than three signed documents, then the free account is all good. So you can see, as you can see here, this is my account. Once I log in, send three documents every month for free. All right, so we're gonna go into this sign or send section. Um, to upload your document. So just go here and click on the document that you want to upload. That's just gonna take like a minute, not even, it's really fast. All right, so once that is uploaded, you're gonna click on next and then you're gonna add your sign signers here. So your, you, you are already definitely gonna be one of the signees, so you don't need to put your name, but you need to put like your, whoever is signing the document. So I'm just gonna do a random name and email address there. Um, so as you can see here, you can see all of your different signees and we have Jesse here, which is my husband's name, um, and also me. So everyone is there. So now just like um, previously, you need to go to the document here and just add your fields. So um, you can either uh, like sign yourself, me now, and you can like add your name. So it's already there, but anyways, I'm um, just gonna like remove that right here. Um, we can add my email address and you can like just add a text field. So like made on Sundays. 
So it's very easy to do just as we did on Adobe. Um, and then, so fill out everything that you need to fill out. There's also like check boxes and other cool things that you can add there. Um, at the end, you might wanna add like the date in. I think there's already a date signed here. So now you wanna add the fields that whoever you're sending the contract to will need to fill out. So you go to their name here and then you're gonna add those fields. So client name, uh, address. I'm just gonna put um, like a text box so that they can add their text there. Um, and then uh, client email. Just put some space in there. Um, and then phone number, I'm just gonna add a text box. And then at the very end, you wanna add their name again. And this part is where you can add a signature. So again, you might wanna add some more space there and then date signed. So when they click this field, it would go to the calendar so they can just pick a date. Now, when you create these fields, as you can see here, you can format it and create like, use a different font or different uh, sides and stuff. Um, so, uh, you can just like customize it however you like. Um, and then once that is all done, uh, you can basically send the document. So you're gonna go to Nix and it's just gonna make sure that their email is correct, if anyone else needs to get a copy, and then you can give it a title and uh, a little message because they'll receive it in their emails. So once you fill this out and you send for signature, this is gonna be emailed to them directly and they're gonna see it pop up, they're gonna read it and fill in all of the, um, the fields that are required um, and then they're going to click send and it actually one cool thing about hello sign is even if they open the document and view it without signing you will also get an email uh, telling you that the person that you sent it to has opened the file and viewed it so even if they don't sign it yet you kind of get a peek into whether they have saw the email or looked at the contract so that's a really cool feature. And then once they sign it and send it, it will email to you automatically from HelloSign and you'll get a signed copy, which you can download and save into your records. Um, and your contract is signed. All right, so that's it. With those two free options to sign and send digitally, binding contracts. You have five free contracts that you can send out every month if you use both of those services together. For a lot of business owners, five contracts a month is probably more than enough. Even for myself, I use those two free options, myself or my business, because I rarely send over five contracts a month. So I hope that video was helpful and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that notification bell as well um, to get updates on my latest videos. All right, so I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>